Check, check, check. All right. Body Language Podcast, episode 19. Fucking thank you for coming to the podcast, checking us out, hanging out with us. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, man, it's been a long freaking day, dude. I had another 11-hour day today. I've been fucking whooped. I'm not used to working all these hours. It's a young man's game. But anyway, it's good to see you guys. Hey, good to see you guys. Um, yeah, man, hope you had a great day. If you didn't, tomorrow's a new day. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, shit, man. I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. Uh, today, uh, I got into an argument with somebody um, about, like, dick memes. And it frustrated me because I don't like dick memes. I don't like anything dick. I don't like people to send me anything with dicks, okay? I'm a straight male. I don't want anything with dicks, even if it's funny. Let me dictate if dick things are funny. Don't send me dick shit. Um, it didn't go well. I thought I was very diplomatic about it. Clearly I was not. So, you know, you live and you learn, right? Do not send me dick shit. It's not funny. It's not cool. If I make a dick joke, it's because I have rendered it okay for me to say or see. Don't send me dick shit. It's not funny to me. Yeah. Also, uh, there's like a portion of things that my wife and I spoke about today that are allowed on Instagram and... I don't know. We okay, so we we'll just say we have a friend that lives in Alabama, a very Republican Christian part of Alabama. I know some of you are probably saying, "Well, that's pretty much all of Alabama," but really, it's this one specific place, very Republican, right wing Christian. So anyway, uh, we have a friend. We call him Alabama. Oh, yeah. Well. We'll call him Alabama. We'll call him Bama. And he decides today that he wanted to post a slight dick pic um, on Instagram. Most of you who are listening to this podcast have a fucking Instagram. You know as well as I do that dicks, titties, and frontal vaginal photos do not belong or have a place on Instagram or Facebook. And even if you don't think so, Instagram and Facebook definitely believe that that's not a place for dick pics. Anyway, post a picture of like the shape of his like his dick and his boxers. And when I found this, uh, Jess was in Dollar General she was grabbing a few things and we I, I, she got back in the car and I told her I was like I told her about the situation that, we, that I found our friends like very implied dick pic in a way and I was like this dude has lost his mind <laughs> she's like it's been gone <laughs> it's, it's been gone but anyway, I was just very, I was just shocked by it. Like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting older or maybe I'm be- becoming more sensitive to things like that. But I was just thinking like, I wouldn't want my daughter to see that photo on Instagram or my wife to run into it. So it was kind of crazy to see a close friend of ours try to do, try to pull that off. It was funny. I know he's involved in uh, like a different realm of entertainment than most people um, and appreciates different realms of entertainment 
but what the fuck? Don't put it on Instagram. There are sites like Instagram and Facebook that totally love things like that. Keep it off Instagram. No one wants to see that. Except for people who go to that website to fucking see it. Why would you put it on Instagram? And he's a good old friend of mine, so, you know, I, don't, I didn't say anything to him. Uh, and I didn't, like, I didn't bash him or say anything ugly. But I was just thinking, like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. Whatever. Shit's not for Instagram, man. Especially your friends. Maybe make a private, private fans only account on Instagram if you're going to do things like that. Other than that, post normal shit that your friends and your family want to see, man. Okay? Because we don't come here to see the shape of your fucking dick and your Hanes. All right? Fuck. Anyway, um, I'm trying to be a little quiet because uh, it's 11, like 1130, 11, 1130. So I'm trying to be a little quiet. Um, yeah, dude, I just wanted to start the podcast off with that today. That shit just like got me ramped. You know, it didn't offend me by any means because I got tougher skin than that, but definitely got me ramped a little bit. It's just like, what the fuck? Cheers. I'm sorry if I seem a little chill, overly chill tonight. I'm literally tired as shit. I'm so fucking tired. I'm gonna go to bed right after this podcast. Oh, man. I had a few things that I wanted to bring up uh, on tonight's podcast. Um, I wrote them down with a Sharpie and an old receipt in the car, but I left the fucking list in the car. And the car is way out there. So I'm going to save those bullet points for the next podcast uh, and keep this one a little bit naked like most of my soft casts are. This is a soft cast. Um, if you like the mix that you're hearing, the link is in description. Um, yeah, man. Had some bullet points. Wrote them down in the car. Like I say every time, man, we're going to get better at this podcast. We're going to start having the laptop or a tablet or like a um, like an like an actual paper tablet. One of those three things will be on the podcast permanently. Because eventually I'll get tired of just like talking shit, and I want like bullet points to hit like I do when we have guests. Uh, I want that same like algorithm and organization to my single podcast. But anyway. Yeah, we're going to do that soon. Yo, we got Friends Fest coming up in a few weeks, dude. I am DJing. I am playing a fucking set. I'm shooting three, two or three podcasts in those two days that we're going to be there. It's going to be insane, man. Mine and Jessica's first time uh, alone by ourselves in a few months. So it's going to be nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Speaking of, uh, we're about, I don't know, six, seven minutes in this podcast. We're going to go ahead and take a little quick ad break. Um, golf to go golf to go.com the quickest most amazing punctual handsome dope ass cool as shit delivery from south foley to west pensacola you want a pizza you want tuna you want a burger you want ice cream you want a soda whatever man give us a call we will bring that shit to you uh we're about three to four dollars lower than your typical average competitive freelance delivery. Um, and we have an arrangement of restaurants on our website. Uh, like I said, link in description, golf to gocom We have our home app, homepage, home number on google.com. So just go to wwwgolf to gocom or go to Google and type in golf to go and it will pop up. If you're in the South Alabama, far west Pensacola region, give us a call. We'll bring you some food. Shout out to Pensacola. Link. Shout out to Pensacola. Yeah, whatever. Shout out Pensacola. Pensacola's cool too, man. I like Pensacola. It's all good. Uh, shout out Golf to Go. Link in description. Golf to Go.com. Smoothest, quickest, most handsome, most punctual, dope ass, kick ass. Food delivery from South Foley, West Pensacola. Give us a shout. Golf to Go.com. Link in description.
Yo, okay, we're back. Oh man. <clears throat> so, <sighs> right, yeah. so it looks like Bernie Sanders is going to be our next president. Finally, got a Democrat back in office. I mean, I say finally, but I mean, like, I don't really give a shit if you're Republican or Democrat. It's not really about like what color of suit you wear, color you are. Or which party you represent it's just more about the people which person is going to have more sway over the house and the state than the other which presidential candidate has the best interest of the people that's what i care about but looks like bernie sanders looks like marijuana is about to be legal looks like bernie sanders is about to come in with the home fucking run I'm not mad about it. Not like enthused, but I'm not mad about it. I'm just going to listen to that fucking 90 mile an hour fucking thought process. I mean, 90 mile an hour thought process bullshit that he fucking spews every time the camera's put on him. But then again, I'm fucking, I'm 90 mile an hour too, so I can't really say much shit. Um, yeah, man. Can't, this cannabis laws are just fucking whack. The system is wrecked when it comes to fucking... Uh, adoption policy, marijuana, lottery, and education. I'm sure a lot of you people who watch this podcast would agree with me on that. So fucked. So fucking fucked. But, you know, it is what it is. We, um... We grow and adapt and we learn, man, I guess. You know? Each generation is furthering the age of the species of the human. We will get better at doing things like this the older we get when this podcast is long gone and all the internet is long gone and moved on to something else, move something to more technologically advanced than what it is now. And we'll, none of this will even matter. It'll be a stepping stone in history. But as of now, it matters. Bernie, looks like you're about to be president, homie. Could be wrong, but it looks like you're about to be fucking president. Cannabis, looks like you're about to be in every other pharmacy or in every fucking state, which is nice to see. Uh, I am a firm, firm believer that medical marijuana and cannabis plays a huge part in the human psyche. So I know it may seem bizarre to a lot of generations, but unless you use it or have used it or see the actual medicinal effects that it can have on the human body, don't knock it. Just like alcohol it was taboo at first, but now it's going to be a regular thing, you know. But... Hey, you know, whatever. We're um, making moves, moving forward. What I'm more worried about is this fucking asteroid threat that we got going on right now. I guess it's going to be a little current events segment that we're going to have. So current events. Asteroid potentially could be hitting fucking our planet, Earth. NASA sent out like a, like a, uh, like a dial warning of a potential asteroid that's like the size of like a Manhattan block. Like 60 kilometer, I think I'm butchering that. Like a 60 kilometer, 60 ki- I don't fucking know, 60 kilometer block. So it's like, what, a quarter mile size meteor heading for the planet that said they could potentially kill millions? I mean, what the fuck is that about? Like, why have we not, kind of like I said last time, why we have little computers in our pockets? Why have we not counteracted things like that? What the fuck, man? That's scary. But you know, I'd like to think that humanity has come so far that we've developed enough sense and mindful, useful technology that will, I don't know, somehow fix this problem. It's fucking wild. Hey, anyway, uh, side, side, side note, shout out to Minus the Bear. Uh, I never wear this t-shirt ever. Minus the Bear used to be one of my favorite bands ever. Um, I bought this at my buddy Brandon's record shop uh the gentleman that lost his beautiful dog cookie that we de- uh dedicated the last podcast but episode 17 was dedicated to cookie this is uh no it was last that it was last podcast i don't remember i was drinking uh minus the bear though bought this from brandon's record shop i don't wear it much it's a cool shirt shout out minus the bear r.i.p wish you guys are still around man what a fucking long day god damn it i'm tired but I wanted to shoot this podcast. I was stoked about it. And I was stoked on those bullet points, but I'm literally not going to walk 
I'm not gonna put my fucking shoes on or my, or my flops on. Walk outside, go down to the parking lot, get my fucking notes, and bring it back in. I'll just save them for the next podcast. That's just how that next podcast is gonna go. By the way, again, I'm gonna uh, thank you guys so much for all the love that y'all have shown me. Um, I know some of you are pro- probably don't like the podcast, and that's totally cool. Podcasts aren't for everybody. I'm not for everybody. Totally okay with that. <laughs> um, I mean, there's 70 billion people on this planet. Can't be for everyone, you know what I mean? That's okay, I'm alright with that. But um, for those of you who have shown Jessica and I love, and um, we, you know, just love, we appreciate it. We love you guys back. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't, fuck you, do it now. Um, and thank you guys for hanging in there and dealing with like our learning curve on the podcast. Uh, that was really important to us to um, to want to do that publicly and not do it where we just record a bunch of podcasts and then just siphon the best. Like we want you guys, you know, we have like a very Howard Stern approach. It's like shot, shot, cigarette sit down roll camera let's roll talk about shit i mean if something gets brought up that's real heavy we'll edit it out but other than that man it's pretty natural it's like sitting down talking to us i'd probably say fuck and dick a little bit more but that's just because this is my platform and i can do that and it feels good to have the freedom to be able to do that and not be penalized for it verbally or socially you know (laughs) fuck all y'all i can say what i want it's my podcast Yeah, it's my podcast. It's our podcast. No. Anyway, yeah, dude, I say but anyway a lot. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do, by the way, uh, I mocked up some designs for some body language podcast long sleeve shirts for next fall. Uh, And I've been trying to come up with like a cool slogan or like just something clever to put on the t-shirt. And uh, I think the... like the sleeves will say body language podcast in our font and then in the front it will say um but anyway and then on the back it would say something like you know what i mean because i say those things a lot or something like um like i say do it now a lot like do it now like it's got do it now do it now yeah i'd be like you know do it now and then on the back like and subscribe i don't know something clever something cute if you have any suggestions um i think we're going to turn the comment section off on our podcast we haven't actually got any negative comments at all we've only got positive ones but i think just for like to cover my ass and in in good nature i think i'm going to turn the comment section off on our podcast um but we always leave links to our socials uh in the description so if you have any good t-shirt ideas or have any good ideas for the podcast or want to be on the podcast hit the links in description or uh, if the comment section is still up for this podcast before i turn it down turn it off uh comment you know we yeah fucking comment <clears throat> yo i need to get my clock back out my mirror clock back out because I used to set a timer every time I would start a podcast. And now I never know how long we're going. I'll shut it off at 15 minutes, and that's not worth fucking posting. Softcast got to be at least 22 minutes or longer. 22 minutes. That's all you need. 22 minutes or longer. That's an episode of something on TV. So it's got to be that or better. Nothing less, bitch. Yo, I thought it'd be really clever to do like, we're going to do a Halloween podcast this fall. We're going to do a 4th of July podcast and we're going to do, yeah, we're pretty much going to just do all, all the holidays. Like I think we'll probably leave Easter out cause we'll be out of town hardcore for that. Um, probably be out of town hardcore for Christmas too, but we can always shoot it before we go f- to Christmas break. But, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, 4th of July, a few birthdays type podcasts um we're gonna shoot those those are gonna be fun this year 
if I can do those. And also, for those of you, I totally, I don't know what the fuck I was saying before that. I totally lost my train of thought. But for those of you who don't have like a super smartphone or got like a Walmart smartphone or, or what, you know, shout out to Walmart. Walmart, you're great. I love you. Thanks for basically filling my fridge, my cabinets, and my kitchen chairs. You're awesome. But if you have like a Walmart smartphone, you can't like listen to the podcast or watch the podcast uh, with like the YouTube bracket, like kind of like minimalizing itself into the corner. Uh, we are working on a SoundCloud account, uh, a pro account to where we can just toss up large amounts of content at a time. Uh, excuse me. Uh, and we're still trying to find an RSS system that will support our podcast so we can get on Spotify. Uh, we heard back from Apple Music, but there was a lot of things that we had to regulate on our channel that we did not really want to regulate. Um, so there was that for that. So I think we just kind of like waved bye bye to um, Apple Music, and now it's between Fever and Spotify. I think we're gonna go with Spotify. We may, you know, we may do both, and we may even do a SoundCloud. But um, Spotify is free if you get accepted soundcloud's just like eight nine bucks a month without having to deal with like ads and all that other bullshit which is great um but also not great if you want to get paid but we're not at that part of our lives yet with our vlog channel and our podcast yet podcast came out a few like this month or last month and then the vlog channel's been out for like two years two and a half years so we're still so fucking new you know what i mean we're like the youngest people in the fucking game really to be honest, <clears throat> but we're trying, uh, and we'll get to that when time comes, but until then, we appreciate you guys coming to the YouTube, um, app and loving on us. It sounds so fucking stupid. Like such like, so like faggoty, so like douchey when I say that, like the YouTube app, like, I don't know what's fucking going on. Like I'm disconnected or something. Let me retry that sentence again. Thank you guys for coming to YouTube to watch our podcast. Um, that's, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Harlan, what's up my dog? Get a cat. Hey buddy, buddy. Come here, man. Come here. No, scared with the cables. Okay. As you were, go ahead. Yo, I had a fucking ex-girlfriend hit me up last week. Uh, that shit like rocked my fucking world. We haven't spoken like, I don't know, last time we spoke, it was just like one word comments. It was just like, no, don't go away kind of shit. Uh, but we haven't really spoken like over 10 years and like she tries to hit me up every four or five years, three or four years, honestly, and tries to like send me a friend's request and like, hey, how you doing? It's like, bitch, get the fuck away from me. You fucked up my whole fucking beginning part of my 20s i couldn't even enjoy my 21st birthday because i was like crying in a bathtub you know fuck off don't fucking hit me up i'm happy i'm happily married for almost a full decade this april i have kids you have kids you have a husband like get the fuck out of here don't fucking hit me up we already have we already have to struggle with the fucking truth that that, 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 that we have that we share mutual friends that we don't ever get to see thank god together get the fuck out of here don't fucking hit me up fuck off without naming names because you know you're a human being and just in that aspect i have respect for you but get the fuck out of here don't hit me up okay if you run into each other in like a goddamn target or in a parking lot one day randomly hey side hug what's up here we'll do the introduction thing kosherly naturally do not go out of your way to fucking hit me up don't you were a fucking hoe. You pulled your slut magic on me. And I don't want any part of your life. I don't want to be a part of your life. Do not do not hit me up. Don't. Okay? Respectfully, fuck off. Yo, I've been having like the greatest hair days the last few days, man. I didn't wash my hair for a long time. And like let these dreadlocks form. But I've been washing it recently. And that's just been like fire. So into it. So... You guys are like drooling, creaming your pantaloons over my hair. I feel you. Okay. I feel you. But hey, anyway, uh, I think we're about um, done with this podcast. Thank you guys for coming to the podcast. We love you. Like and subscribe. If you have already, thank you so much. If you haven't, fuck you. Do it now. Um, 
take good care of yourself. If you had a bad day, hang in there. Tomorrow's a new day. Uh, new Harlan, come here. Okay. Hates the podcast. Got him on here. Don't meow at me. Don't fucking sass me, cat. Um, Jeff, you know, whatever. We'll get Harlan on the podcast a little bit more when he relaxes with the cables. He thinks they're snakes, man. There's like cables going everywhere, so he like it's intimidated. But anyway, having some good hair days. Don't send me dick shit. Be respectful. Ex girlfriend, boyfriend types of people. Don't hit your other ex significant others up. It's not fucking cool. We don't give a shit. We've moved on. Unless you haven't, then in which case maybe that would make your day. Uh, Bernie, marijuana. It's all coming to a fucking fold now. Vote. Register to vote. If you don't want to vote, dope. Don't vote. It's your right to not vote. If you can vote and you want to vote, vote. Uh, love you guys. Like and subscribe. Take good care of yourself. We'll see you guys uh, this weekend. Uh, we have uh, Ian Thrain audio podcast. Audio podcast Sunday. Thank you guys for showing love for our audio podcast too, man. We really appreciate that. I didn't think they were going to hit very well, but they did. Thank you. Um, uh, Saturday, my buddy Dan. Dan Poling's coming back. We're going to talk some more shit, some more trash. Uh, not two and a half hours worth like last time. Uh, we'll probably do another hour, hour and a half. But yeah, Ian Thrain, Dan Poling, this weekend, two podcasts. Um, enjoy this one. Like and subscribe. Share and show your friends. We'll see you guys this weekend. Uh, much love. Have a good day tomorrow. Take good care of yourself. Call your mom. Tell your lover. Body Language Podcast. Out.